is FTX going insolvent? What are the facts that we have until now? And what are the opportunities behind this news event, even if it turns out to be fake news? I do believe there are a couple of options that you can kind of hedge against in either way, no matter what happens to FTX and their FTT token. But let's just first start with the facts that we currently have, and then I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios to trade this. And everything started pretty much yesterday when the Binance CEO CZ tweeted that they will be selling out of their FTT token. And he was very vague in his tweet, uh, but the main reason behind it seems to be uh, this news article from Coindesk that pretty much is claiming that Almeida, which is pretty much a spin-off of Sam Bankman's Freed FTX, has a lot of FTT on their balance sheet and more specifically more than 5 billion out of their 14 or 15 billion of assets that they hold which in the eyes of CZ or at least how people are reading into this means that this is not very stable and if such a big company holds a bunch of tokens of its mother company you know this is really not good for business and it creates and creates a dangerous situation especially when we consider what we had this year with all the Luna fiasco and what happened with Celsius. And right after his tweet, the CEO of Almeida came out and said that there are plenty of more on the balance sheet compared to what was leaked and that they're actually ready to buy the FTT token from Binance at $22 just to minimize the effects on the markets. This is pretty much a short summary of what we really know is going on. But the most important is that we don't know what is happening behind closed door. We don't know if FTX and FTT and Almeida are actually over leveraged, if there's something shady going on in the background. Also, we don't know what are the real reasons for CZ to doing this move. We could only speculate. And I think the best hint that we got was from another tweet from CZ. And here he's saying that we won't support people who lobby against other industry players behind their backs. And here I think we can find really what's going on and what triggered uh, this whole fiasco. If we go to CoinMarketCap and we look at the top cryptocurrency exchanges, you'll see that worldwide Binance is number one by far by volume. Of course, this is coin market cap data and it's owned by Binance. So the data here could be skewed a little bit. But the second place, as you can see here, is FTX. And FTX is fairly new to the market and it's still bigger than Coinbase, which was for quite a while on the markets and also KuCoin and other major exchanges down the list. So FTX gained a lot of market share very quickly. And I think the tension here is brewing because we have obviously the market leader in the face of Binance being challenged by another very large competitor that actually has very strong lobby in the United States. And these first places here are for the FTX and Binance global platforms. However, when it comes to the US, they're separate websites because they're under separate regulations and so on. So Binance US has actually around 33 million of volume in the last 24 hours. And if we scroll further down, you'll see that FTX US has almost $200 million of volume. And this is, I believe, where the major game is played behind closed doors. FTX is probably lobbying more and more for more regulations that are not in favor of Binance. And the US market obviously is huge. And FTX has a real chance to become much bigger than Binance US. And even when you look at the global comparison, Binance is still way, way bigger, but FTX could catch up. And, and imagine if you're CZ and you've been on the top of the world for so long, definitely you use every single opportunity to hit at your opponents really hard and make sure that they know their place. And I really think this is what's happening. This is behind the whole story. However, I also believe it's not a place to disregard any kind of information about bankruptcy, insolvency or any kind of scheme just because of everything that's been going around last year and that overall the market and the users are quite freaked out when they see something like this. 
so i believe that there's still an opportunity here for the rumors to be true and for ftx to be in some kind of trouble and even if it's not imagine that there's a bank run on ftx and if you holding funds there i think it's a great idea to actually withdraw them just in case i know many people have already done this and this will actually be a really good stress test for ftx if it survives and if it's so regulated and so well balanced with enough assets as sbf is claiming in uh, this tweet and he's you know showing appreciation for all the people that support him and he says that the ftx is constantly audited and that their financials are intact that is great but you know after what happened with three arrows and celsius and so on i think there's still a little bit of a chance that there might be something going on behind the scenes and even if there's a slight opportunity, I think it's worth taking your assets out of the platform. <laughs> I personally have some assets stuck there just because I was preparing uh, for a massive, massive challenge in a video that I will be sharing with you later. And I didn't whitelist my addresses for withdrawal that soon. So I'm still in the 24 hour hold for my whitelist addresses and I do have funds there. But once it's whitelisted, I'll try to withdraw them. I've heard from different friends and people in different chat that they haven't had any issues with withdrawing in FTX but still if you have the opportunity it's definitely worth considering taking your funds out. I think there's a massive opportunity in this and we have to look at the chart of FTT for this one. First of all, you'll see that this level around $22, $21-$22 has been holding for a long long time now. And if it breaks since we are in this bear market and because of the news that is happening and if actually there is some truth to everything that's going on, I think it will be a great opportunity for a short here. If you can find good risk to reward here and keep your stop losses kind of tight because this could go either way. So if everything is fine, I think FTT could blow up after surviving all of this foot. But if there's something going on, I think it's worth to have a hedge on FTT especially if you're holding FTT and also if you're like me and for whatever reason you're not able to withdraw any of your assets that you're holding on FTX and they go down the road of bankruptcy that will be a hedge for you so for example if you're holding ten thousand dollars on FTX and you cannot withdraw them a short position to a similar size on the break of 21 dollars I would say here with a five or ten percent risk might be worth looking into to protect your downside and your assets that you're holding also another opportunity here if you believe that this is just a bunch of fud and ftx is just going to go bigger and bigger i think it's also a great buying opportunity for the believers because we are in this low range of 21 22 dollars and price seems to be bouncing off even after you can see the volume here yesterday if price holds here this area could be a great moment to start accumulating some ftt because if ftx survives all of this i think it will only make it stronger and with all the publicity that they've been getting this could be very positive catalyst uh, for ftt in the long term of course everything will depend also on the general markets and how the economy is doing and if we go into a deeper recession ftt could still break down from here even if uh, whatever is happening right now just blows off and everything's fine for FTX however I think it's worth looking into these two opportunities here and obviously make your own research read into whatever is coming out very carefully because most of it is speculation and just other people's opinion and I just found another tweet here on coffee make so that they're pretty much saying that FTX and the US regulators are trying to kick out Binance and as we discussed this is probably the highest probability scenario that we have right now uh, so just be careful always have your own read and of course protect yourself even if there's nothing to be protected from i think we're in such kind of environment that it's worth taking precautionary measures and not have too much of money on any kind of exchange especially on ftx for the next few days and weeks